like I said, we'll start it off easy by hitting the double black diamonds. So we're heading up to trail 77, I think. Um, and that's a short little black diamond. You can't see it on our trail map for some reason, but it's on ride man. So we're gonna hit that. And uh, we got the big group behind us. We got Steve from Ohio that met up here with his wife. We got New York Mike. Uh, so those are two guys that'd be watching the videos for quite some time. And um, then the rest of our crew. So it's gonna be a good time. This is insane, eh? No, you want to get your ATV? No. No, I'm good. <laughs> oh, <that's great. laughs> wow.
going up that would be ridiculous. No way we're making it up. Hey, is this what you signed up for? This is what I signed up for, baby! I left some rim paint behind. <laughs> yeah. I see some red and green on there. Yeah. Whoa! Hi! Let's go! Wheel, baby, you got this. Rock and Trails edition. Flex it out. Yeah. This is what you got the rock and trail for. This is why I got the rock and trail. Plenty of rock on this trail. Well done, man. We're rocking this trail. Woo! Now turn. Bill's getting a little flustered. You got this, man. You're on a KRX, buddy. That's what this thing was bred for. You got it. That spot where they are, if you could let your passenger wheel too far to the right there where Ksenia is, you get it bummed up against the rock. Yeah. You good. You good. He's got this. Come on, Billy. To what you're good at. So we're going back up the bridge. 
Man, that would be insane. That spot he's at now, Bill, that would be crazy to get up. Yeah. Everyone's hitting belly pan there. This trail is absolutely wicked. This is exactly what we came looking for. This is awesome, eh? Imagine going up that. That general is not happy. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right, he's having a blast right now. <laughs> These technical rocky trails are really the ones that get us excited, and, and this is really what our favorite type of terrain is as a crew, and the Bear Wallow Trail System has the most of this technical rocky stuff out of all the Hatfield-McCoy Trail. In the future, I'd love to spend a day or two just on Bear Wallow so that we could take our time and try and crawl up a lot of these sections that we're going down. It's always freaky when you're in the middle of it. The downhills aren't that bad, though. Yeah, you always make it down. on in a ride especially when you travel this far you really kind of have to hold yourself back a lot of the guys did want to turn around and try this trail up but if you wreck something or get really pinned this early on the ride you can potentially ruin your whole day it's super 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 steep Squeaky, squeaky. 
This is definitely one of those situations where the camera just does not do the terrain justice, guys. I mean, it looks pretty gnarly here on camera, but when you're here in person, some of these drops are over four or five feet, and it is seriously intimidating. Let's just say the skid plate's got a solid workout on this obstacle. This was the only one that didn't hit its belly on the ledge. What? Really? Yeah. Mine hit? The Oliver's touch. Yeah. yeah, this one didn't. Because of his shorter wheelbase? Or I, mean, what? I don't know. That was an awesome little section of trail. Going down, that was a blast. Going back up, it would also be a, a huge challenge in comparison and a ton of fun, but we can't really risk wrecking the machines this early in the day. We have a lot more ground to cover, so um, you know we kind of have to pace ourselves here. We're gonna wrap this episode up here. I know it was a shorter one, but we've got a bunch more action from Bear Wallow heading your way. This is just a taste of what lies ahead. Make sure you check out the previous episodes if you haven't done so already, and smash that subscribe button. I'll be uploading a bunch of videos in quick succession in the next few days. Well, that was a